so much for pressing play and taking some time out of your day to spend with me. This is Joy, and I thank you so much for your time. I'd like to extend a welcome to the new subscribers of this community. It's my sincere hope that I share something with you here that will help you continue to journey towards your prepared places. Welcome back to all the returning subscribers. You are all so appreciated. Today I wanted to take some time talking to you about breaking free from the narcissist. You are more powerful than you think, and this is why you are a super empath. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. I have to repeat, every thought to the obedience of Christ. When I said that the narcissist is a soul hunter, I meant that. When I said that the narcissist is a cult leader, I meant that. When I said that the narcissist is a, is their goal is to siphon your soul, guess what? I meant that. Casting down vain imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. You see, when the narcissist comes into your life, it's not really about the adoration, the admiration, the adulation, or even the attention. It's not about your sex, your money, your body, your looks, the clout. Those are fringe benefits. That's part of the package. You know, the bonus things, the perks of being with you. What the narcissist ultimately needs is your soul. I can't say this enough. The narcissist is after your soul. That is their primary assignment. Everything else is secondary. Your soul, your mind, your emotions, and your will. Today, I want to focus mostly on your mind. You see, the word tells us that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As a man thinketh in his heart. And the passage that I actually shared with you today, casting down imaginations. Well, where exactly are imaginations formed? They're formed in our mind. And so it's no joke and it's no mistake that the narcissist is indeed a soul hunter. But you, super empath, have the power to bring everything into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. And that is your superpower, super empath. This is your assignment. This is what you have to do. If you truly want to break free from the narcissist, you are going to have to fight from a different plane. You know, the narcissist knows that if they are able to keep you indoctrinated in their love cult and keep you in the narcissistic harem, they have to win your mind. They have to win this battle and they have to win this fight in your mind. Your thoughts are so powerful. You see, our thoughts govern what consumes our time. The things that we meditate on the most have our full attention and what we think, what you constantly feeding, what your mind is constantly thinking on, dwelling on, is what is going to manifest in your life. So when the narcissist takes over your mind, when the narcissist fills your head with thoughts of them being everything you want them to be, in the love bombing stage, when they're faking, when they're future faking actually, giving you all the false flattery, and just dangling a carrot in front of your nose, painting the sky blue, just telling you everything that you want to hear. They're forming thoughts. They're forming a subconscious thought pattern in your mind. And what happens is it becomes embedded in your emotions, in your heart. 
and those move your will into the direction the narcissist wants you to go to there's a method to their madness you know a lot of the times i sit here and i call their father the, the devil a raggedy dusty behind and you know and i say things like you know that joker that fool because that's what he truly is but let's not ever take away the the fact or you know diminish the fact that he is a cunning and a conniving slimy creature who is very crafty and who is also kind of knowledgeable on how he can gain that control over you so there is some power in their wickedness but never forget whose you are and who you belong to because Christ or God is no joke he's the creator of all mankind and so the power essentially is his and because you are his creation and you are created in his image and in his likeness and the mind of Christ is upon you you can step into that power and that is your power but let's go back to talking about how you know they program you by say by me saying they i'm really talking about the narcissist and his raggedy dusty father the devil because they want you to believe what they're saying about you is true and that's that sub sub that's that subconscious um, programming that they try to instill in you and it becomes so you know so embedded in your thought process that you really do think that you need the narcissist long after they are gone that is the goal because they are allowed to or they have access to continue to come back in and out of your life at their convenience first of all your life is not a revolving door for the raggedy dusty fools okay let's start there but i want to i want to i want to talk to who you are i want to talk to your higher self to the higher version of who you are and i want to remind that person that your finite mind can contain the infinite mind of christ and so you are more powerful than they are but you have got to recognize that you cannot fight this battle and you cannot win this war when you think with your emotions you know again the narcissist taps into your mind to control your emotions and will influence your will your desire to be with them long after they are gone and so we have to now use their method or use that logic not theirs but that logic to regain our power and our posture so that we can overcome narcissistic abuse once and for all and you are going to have to fight and it starts in your mind you see a lot of the times we're fighting from a disadvantaged position because we're using our emotions and we're leaning into our emotions and being led by our emotions because i miss them why you know what was it about me that wasn't good enough why couldn't why couldn't they see everything about me all the things that i was willing to sacrifice and do for them why 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 we're feeling we're using the emotional part of our being which is exactly what they wanted us to do but super empath it's time now to rise up it's time now to tap into your superior power and flip the script because guess what no weapon formed against you shall prosper and so now it's time to use your weapons that are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds and so it's time for this stronghold to come down super empath it's time for you to rise in your power you know a lot of the time we throw around scripture but do we ever use it is it ever do we ever fully walk in the power of what those words are and so this is what I want to talk to you today about your thoughts are responsible for almost everything that happens in your life and so in order for things to look different or in order for you to begin to stop thinking about the narcissist stop the ruminating and move on you're going to have to change that subconscious programming and that is going to require you to establish different types of thoughts you know we you know we actually do have different types of thoughts they are those random ones that pop into our minds every now and then 
And then you also have those that are predominant. They're the repetitive thoughts. And these influence our behaviors, our attitudes, actions, and reactions. And they actually shape our reality. And that is where the narcissist aims to affect your mind in your predominant thoughts. But I want to remind you and encourage you to consider your thoughts as seeds, seeds that are buried, that are alone. And, you know, when they're buried and alone and alone, should I say, in a dark place, they are given time or given time, they grow and they get strong and they mature. And that ends up becoming your reality. So although the discard is painful and all the, you know, the effects of the discard and the relationship and everything, it can really make you feel like you're buried. And it may feel like this is a horrible place and it's a difficult position to be in. But consider for a moment that it might be exactly where you need to be. Buried. Alone in a dark place listen caterpillars go in a cocoon a dark place before they can come out as a beautiful butterfly penicillin the drug was actually grown in a dark place and it was able to be used to bring healing to many many millions of people you are buried and alone in a dark place for a reason and it's time for you now to nurture your thoughts. It's time for you to use your alone time to pull in. Spend some time with God. Spend some time getting to know Him and getting to know you. Getting to know who He says you are. And growing in that relationship so that you can rise in who you are supposed to be. As soon as you get in touch with yourself, Everything about the narcissist is going to start to diminish and become weaker and you are going to see them for who they truly are. Many people who are listening already know that the narcissist is no good for them. And so you are already buried and you are starting to grow, continue to bloom, continue to thrive, continue to grow. You know, your attention, interests, and enthusiasm when it comes to your thoughts is exactly what makes them powerful. So that's like your fertilizer as you're fertilizing, you know, the seed that is buried is going to require attention, interest, enthusiasm, and watch yourself grow. Your thoughts affect your subconscious mind. And so it's important that you are very careful that you would guard your mind and the things that you allow to come into your mind. You know, your thoughts are also so powerful that they can influence other people. Now, if your thoughts have a way of influencing, you know, your emotions, those people around you, especially when you're raising children, are going to still ingest what you are putting out so it's important super empath that you guard your mind so that the thoughts that are seeping from you are not going to be toxic to those people that are around you especially the young babies use the time to focus on what you would like your life to be get a mental vision board maybe an actual physical vision board so that you can begin to map out what it is that you want from your life. And even if you have just been discarded, it's still a good time. Even in the midst of the tears and the pain, it's still a good time to begin to map out what you want from your life. You can do it between the tears and the sniffles. You really can because your future is still going to be bright without the narcissist. It is definitely going to be bright without the narcissist and it does require your attention. It's okay to cry. It's okay to have a down day, but don't allow yourself to stay there. When you have those thoughts that are negative, you have the power and the authority to speak to them. I'm somebody who has been known to say, and I say it out loud and I'm past the stage of really caring about who is around me because I have no problem saying I reject that thought right now and I'll say it out loud 
so that I can announce to the atmosphere that I reject that thought. I'm not going to think that and I'm going to change my thought process immediately. But allow yourself, allow your mind to only dwell on the things that you want to see in your life, the things that are good, the things that are positive, because your thoughts, your mind, the things that are going through your mind are going to influence your emotions. So if the narcissist is on your mind 23 hours of the day, they are going to, that is going to influence your emotions. You're not going to be happy. You're going to be obsessed with what are they doing? What is this new supply doing? And I know that this is part, you know, that is all part of detoxing, but don't give it 23 hours, 30 minutes, cut back 20 minutes, cut back, but do your very best to consume your mind with where you are trying to go. That is your power. Philippians 4 verse 8 says, meditate on whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is good, whatever is virtuous and praiseworthy. I know some people may be thinking or wondering, well, you don't understand. You just don't understand the pain that I'm in. You just don't understand how broken I'm feeling right now. You don't get it. I get it. I've been there. I've been there and it's because I've been there and I had to change my thought pattern and I didn't even realize it until today when I was just like I need to you know I want to talk and I want to share something but I wasn't really sure and so I spent some time talking to God about what to share with you today and you know the scripture just kept coming back to me and I was like you know it was like I had an aha moment and I realized that your mind is so powerful because that's how the narcissist indoctrinates you. It's not indoctrinating you through emotions, it's through your mind. And so you have got to fight this thing with your mind. Your mind will influence your emotions and even if it doesn't make sense, just try it. Use your mind, use your thought process to move out of the pain. Your heart will follow. Trust me, your heart will follow. And once your heart is moving, your will, your desire to move forward in life will subconsciously move forward. You will get to where you are trying to go. Super empath. The power is in your hands. It's in your mind. And at any point, it's you can decide. At any point in time, you can decide that I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. And start changing your thought practice your thought patterns, your thought process. Sometimes you, you know, it may be that you just need to change one thought, one thought right here and right now. Introduce one new activity right here today. One new thing, one a day, one at a time, once a month, you decide how often you are going to bring in something new, but continue to move forward super empath and use the power that is in your hands. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be with me today. I appreciate you all so very much. I hope that you are enjoying your weekend. Continue to take care of yourself. Until the next video, 